life on the island of Tanna in Vanuatu is governed by ritual and protocol. So too is life at Buckingham Palace. They may seem worlds apart, but this is a story about the surprising link that binds them together. Chief Siko Natuan feels a deep connection to British royalty, but not just any royal. He believes one member of the House of Windsor is not what he seems. Prince, uh, Prince Philip usually is asking me, I'm him, him look like a Mothulisha, I'm a Karan. Spirit, I'm a Mothulisha, I'm a Karan. Spirit. According to Chief Siko, Prince Philip is an ancestral spirit who first appeared here at the Yasua volcano on Tanna. In order to protect traditional culture, known as custom, the spirit went overseas to marry the queen. So, so one king and me, one other king and me, Karam Queen, by the same custom, spirit way in the Today, the village of Yaunanan has something to celebrate. It's Prince Philip's 89th birthday, and they're preparing to throw a party for all the surrounding villagers. The Duke of Edinburgh is aware of his exalted status on Tanner. Over the past 20 years, he's been a discreet accomplice in the cult that's grown up around him, sending photos and receiving the occasional gift. Some men say, Emblo, England, or oh, Christ. Town Abu Olgatali got him. Would you have a killing pig? Told San Miguel, say, Suppose you mantana? But you must carry muti lo handle you. But all man, all every man lo wole. But you look say no you mantan. Ta ali sen muti ko ali katam lo pesia. Sen mi ko ta ali karista. Sen mi mantan. According to a prophecy, the spirit who became Prince Philip is due to return, a sort of second coming. Chief Seiko says that day is today. Philip's birthday. Yes, I mean, Mr. Totolem, I mean, tell him, say, I mean, I must come back. No place to blame. Discussion. Me, you say, Mr. Coclos of Lord, I blame by him. Today, today, I mean, I open him to. You're saying, I mean, Philip, no England. Until his death last year, Chief Seiko's grandfather was one of the leaders of the Prince Philip movement. Because of the treacherous coral reefs around Pentecost Island, the royal party came ashore from the Britannia of Dinghy. Seiko's grandfather actually saw Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth when they visited Vanuatu in 1974. families seem to find the vertical plunge as nerve-wracking as everyone else. This visit may have provided the trigger for the movement. Tanner has a long tradition of messianic visionary beliefs. In 1979, the British government asked anthropologist Kirk Huffman to provide an explanation for the Prince Philip movement. From their point of view, he's not a part of our world a white man's world, he's a part of their world. That's the way it needs to be seen. 
He says it may well have been fueled by the realization that Philip, who was born in Greece, hadn't come from any of the countries the villagers knew about. So therefore, if he wasn't from any of those countries, then he's obviously got to be from Tana. As if he's not from anywhere else in the world that one knows, then he's got to be from Tana. So maybe he's the one. the gifts of photos haven't been the islanders only contact with prince philip in 2007, some men from the neighboring village of Ikunala actually met him at Windsor Castle. The villagers traveled to the UK as part of a reality television program, Meet the Natives. For Chief Yapa, it was the realization of a lifelong dream. <laughs> When you met Prince Philip, was he the way you expected him to be? For his part, Philip was gracious and clearly well briefed. Chief Siko leads a procession onto the Nakamal, the sacred kava drinking ground. <laughs> Hundreds of people have come from surrounding villages to mark the big day. King Philip in England. As the day wears on, there's no apparent sign of the Duke of Edinburgh. But the arrival of this bold commoner from Edinburgh causes quite a stir. Mark Raynor is an 18-year-old from Scotland on a gap year in Vanuatu. Along with his friend, Tom, he's learnt the local language and feels compelled to explain Philip's no-show. Philip, 
Hemi got duty, more responsibility. Time Hemi married the queen. Hemi got him duty, more responsibility, the flag here, the British flag. Uh, that's why me, me no think say today, by Hemi come back. Uh, me, me no think say by Hemi come back, but me had him say one day, spirit blow him, by Hemi come blow rest the place here. From Hemi you now, you pull start wait from him. But me, me Adam say, me must try and tell him how talk talk blow me, think think blow me. From suppose no, but you follow start wait from him after you never survey from one him, Emi no come. Thomas, from, Thank uh, you, Dumas, yes. Thank you, Dumas. Does he seem a strange object of, uh, of adoration to you? Yes, it's fantastic, these kind of beliefs that they have and the custom ceremonies and all that. And then how the hell did they, you know, how is it Prince Philip? I mean, it's crazy, but it's also, it's a very good thing. It's, it's had very good effects on the island because uh, the people here, they live with love and respect and they believe that white people, because they believe literally that one of their brothers is a white man, they believe that every white man is their brother. And you're sure he hasn't sent you in his stead? Um, we may, we may possibly. have sent without realising it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> possibly, know, it's, yeah. It's part of the grand yeah, scheme. Yeah, maybe it was, maybe it was uh, God <laughs> that sent us on behalf of Philip or something like that. Like, these guys will probably think that. These, I can guarantee that these guys will think, you know, we're like messengers from Philip or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, well, Tana is it's the way the world should be. People are, they're, they're, they're always thinking. I mean, there's, there's this really ancient tradition of profound philosophical inquiry. When, when you say profound philosophical inquiry, m many people would regard these beliefs as patently ridiculous and irrational. Yeah, well, those many people who might think like that are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes get rather angry with outsiders who sort of tend to poo-poo these things. In the white man's world, you've got, for example, in a way, the world's largest functioning cargo cult, where everything is material stuff, and where the god is actually money. I mean, the whole of the modern world could collapse tomorrow, financially and economically, and yet it wouldn't affect these people at all. You know, they'd be smiling all the way to the cava drinking ground. While his followers on Tanner waited, Prince Philip spent his birthday quietly at Buckingham Palace, recovering from surgery to his wrist. Are you disappointed that Prince Philip didn't come back today? Yes, no spirit in me can put it.